Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another LEGO review. Today we have the brand new A-Frame cabin from LEGO Ideas. The set number is 21338. It's going to retail for 180 US dollars and I believe that's also equivalent in euros as well. And it will go on sale February 1st, 2023. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to check out the LEGO.com page and potentially buy the set. That link's affiliated and helps out the channel. So as you can probably tell, we are not in the current studio where I normally review my Lego sets here on the channel. Instead, we've come out to the great outdoors to set the mood for the A-frame cabin. We are, in fact, in my backyard. I live in the middle of the woods, so this kind of just worked out perfectly. I'm really excited to just kind of change it up and do something a little bit different. So it's actually really cool to be outside and review a Lego set, I must say. Highly recommend. So $180, 2,000 pieces. This is looking like a pretty solid set. So LEGO Ideas has kind of done these old rustic looking buildings before with like the old fishing village as well as the most recent blacksmith set, which is actually still on sale. That was one of my favorite LEGO sets, I believe of 2021. That was a fantastic set. So I'm so happy to see this kind of characteristic, that rustic vibe come through in another LEGO set. Now LEGO Ideas is a fan submission type of platform where a fan comes up with the design it gets submitted to the LEGO Ideas system. Fans vote on it. If it gets 10,000 votes, LEGO reviews it, says whether it's gonna be a set. This one was accepted, and so here we are. So based on the official reveal of this set, I saw a lot of fans talking about how the trees look a lot more simple. They don't look as complex and detailed as the original fan designer uh, intended for the A-frame cabin. So we'll definitely take a look at that here in a few minutes. I also did have the chance to talk to the LEGO Ideas design team who created this set. So I have a few answers on like why they did certain things. So that's that's really cool as well. Uh, but before we get into that, I do want to thank LEGO for sending this set over for review. With that said, let's go back inside, take a look at the in-depth of the A-frame cabin. So the first thing I want to show you guys are the instruction booklets. So there is two of them. So if you want to build with someone else, that's definitely possible. And there's also some really nice art on both instruction booklets showing day and night. And then on the back side of both, they have a little bit of extra art of like a camera and a coffee, as well as a squirrel with a guitar. So really great looking uh, instruction booklets, especially compared to the ones we got in 2022. Now moving on to the physical set. As you can see, I think it looks really nice. I know the trees are debatable especially with the simplicity of them. But as we take a closer look, they're actually very ingeniously designed and I actually really like it. But we'll get to that in just a second. First off, let's take a look at the actual A-frame and its overall functions. First off, it is modular, which is pretty cool. So you can take the two tree sections on either side and move them around. There's even some Technic uh, holes so you can rearrange them in the way that you want. No, this does not connect to Lego city modulars or the you know normal modular buildings. They're not connectable because of the fact that this is built on plates instead of base plates. That's why you can't connect them. Uh, but I do like the ability that you can rearrange the trees with however you want them. And then on top of that, if you take the two tree sections, you can actually combine them to make a little island together, which honestly I think aesthetically looks so pleasing. This looks really, really good. And so you can have the A-frame off to the side and have the trees. This especially is helpful if you have a tight space on your shelf or wherever you're going to put it so you have more ability uh, and posability with how you can place the set throughout your room. Next, I want to focus on the incredible details here. Let's take a look here at just the front side alone. It's pretty crazy. I love how they're uh, using Thor hammers, for example, as stonework on the very bottom side. You got a squirrel, you got some mushrooms, and then you have these brand new and exclusive printed moths. There's three of them in this set that are all printed. Everything's printed too. There's no stickers in the set. And then we also have this really cool rocking chair using Indiana Joan whips. There's a little uh, gas stove there with a cooked egg, which looks awesome. And then my favorite Easter egg, the camera. This is supposed to mimic a mirrorless or DSLR camera, but what specifically stands out to me is the fact that they used red on the Lego camera, signifying a Canon Professional L lens. Great little Easter egg. Next, we have another printed moth alongside a birdhouse connected to the front side of the A-frame. You'll also notice the actual beams of the wood are moved in and out, creating a much more textured detail, which looks fantastic. I was also super impressed with just the railing around the front porch, how they use this little tree piece to make this all work. Just really ingenious part usage throughout the A-frame. 
Now moving on to the inside of the A-frame cabin, both sides of the roof are removable as well as the upper section which holds the bedroom can also be lifted off, revealing an incredibly detailed interior. Like this is one of the most jam-packed interiors I've ever seen. But first, here are the roof sections. As you can see, they're utilizing some pretty cool techniques with the windows and how those are placed. Uh, they are identical, so there is a bit of a repetition there. As you're entering the A-frame, you are greeted by a Lego print printed two by four tile. Next to the stairway, you'll find two separate chairs in dark blue and dark red, as well as a magnifying glass and newspaper so you can do some reading uh, in your A-frame. Across from the chairs, you'll also see there's a record player with also a cabinet with pulled out records, a nice little detail. Across the room, you'll find an umbrella, water bottle, and a table. And then back over to the other side, you can see there's a thermostat as well as a hanging plant. Underneath the stairway, you'll find some bottles inside a crate, and then next to that, you'll find the wood stove with some logs next to it, as well as a kitchen knife and fire extinguisher. Taking a look at the kitchen, it's using some dark orange pieces and really coming up with some creative techniques for how the cabinets look. And I love the parts usage of using a car spoiler as the range hood for the kitchen. Across the kitchen, you'll find a typewriter on a sand green desk. That's in reference to the sand green actual Lego typewriter that was made, I said, a few years ago. Next, we have a Donut Thief Still Hungry newspaper. That's in reference to the uh, modular police station about the theft of the donuts. Above the entryway, you'll find a printed 2x4 tile, which references the blacksmith shop. Now, as we move upstairs to the second floor, we'll find yet another meta Easter egg with the Lego Ideas treehouse in miniature form. This is such a cool little Easter egg. And there's even little Lego pieces scattered throughout the stairs and in the room. I love that detail. There's also a printed two by two tile map as well as a two by three picture of an A-frame. And then we also have a flickering candle. And then another reference to another Lego Ideas set, the Caterham race car and then we have a spider in the attic as well to top it all off another just small detail is the fact that the wood stoves exhaust pipes line up perfectly from inside to out as well as when you attach the second floor it's just so satisfying knowing that it all correctly fits together you can also open up all the windows that are on the exterior of both sides of the a-frame cabin on the back side of the a-frame cabin you'll find a hot water tank in dark blue as well as an octane canister for i assume gas to heat up the cabin as well Next is probably one of the funniest Easter eggs. We have a full-on shower with a soap piece, a towel, or what could be toilet paper, as well as a shovel for doing your outside business. Next is an incredibly insane Easter egg. This is a reference to the Lego Marvel 2022 set, the Sanctum Sanctorum. The same designer who created this set worked on the A-frame cabin and included an Easter egg where the refrigerator inside the Sanctum Sanctorum has the left side door and included with the A-frame cabin is the right side door so you can have a matching pair between the two sets. Incredible, I can't believe he included that detail. And then on top of that, it doesn't even stop there. There's also a cardboard box that is in reference to his designs. It's also snuck in at the bottom side of the A-frame cabin in the crawl space. That is just mind blowing. And next to that cardboard box is another reference to the fan designer who came up with the A-frame cabin who was from Italy. So that's the Italian flag right there. Just brilliant. Next up, we have our outdoor Lego minifigures. There's four of them included in this set, and they're actually designed so you can switch out the torsos and legs to create your own characters for your A-frame cabin. So I like that ability of customization to create whatever figures you want. There's two male, two female figures in this set. Next up is the first of two modular tree sections. This one has a little covering for some firewood that you can use for your wood stove inside the a-frame cabin there's even an axe to cut it up i love the dark reds dark oranges all those earth tones on this very much fall themed tree there's even a little blue bird at the top as well as a yellow moth on the side both of which look fantastic i do realize that these trees are much simpler than the original fan design but i really do like the techniques being utilized here utilizing the dinosaur tailpiece 
it actually looks very natural to me. You can customize the trees. Sure, you can add more tree limbs to make them look a little more dense, but I actually really like this overall simple yet very effective uh, tree design. It's probably one of my favorites that LEGO has made in a long time, and I think it can be utilized very effectively to create a much bigger forest if that's something you're interested in doing. Taking a look here at the second tree section, it is utilizing the sand green as well as the yellow colors. And then we also have a little river slash pond area for the otter, another printed moth. And then we also have a very ingenious way of taking the canoe off its little stand. And you can of course place your minifigures to create whatever outdoor scene you'd like to do. This little section is very nice. I actually like this a little bit more than the one that utilizes the dark red. It also has some life preservers as well as another outdoor water bottle. It overall looks really good and you can create a lot of funny scenes with how the trees can be modular. You can create all kinds of different variations with how you wanna set up your A-frame cabin or your just outdoor area. This is just a lot of fun to play around with. I love the overall aesthetics colors that LEGO went with. I'm a huge fan of those earth tone colors and it really shows in this set. I must say, I definitely didn't expect this set to be this good. All right, so we're back outside. What are my final thoughts on the A-frame cabin? Is it worth that $180 price tag? Well, first off, I just wanna address that the sheer amount of detail and Easter eggs in this set will blow away any hardcore Lego fan. If you've been following Lego ideas or just Lego in general, there's so many little Easter eggs placed throughout the building that honestly, I probably didn't cover every single one. Some probably slipped over me. It is crazy, but it makes sense because I think there was about four or five different Lego designers on just one set. So they all kind of pitched in different ideas and it very much comes off as that. And honestly, that collaboration of multiple designers in this set really also shows with the sheer amount of detail, building techniques, overall aesthetics, like it all comes together in a really great package. So if you enjoyed the blacksmith, if you enjoyed the old fishing village, if this just has that appealing view, if you're an outdoor enthusiast like myself, man, is this a great set. The trees are definitely simple. I agree. They, they're not complex looking. I've built far more complex trees. However, I know from my own experience that complex trees really do take hundreds if not thousands of pieces per tree. So I understand why the Lego design team went with three simple trees instead of what they told me could have been just one complex tree. I would definitely prefer three simpler trees, especially given the fact that we're getting like a fall theme here with the yellows, the oranges and the greens. And man, this new sand green leaf element, um, it looks so good, holy cow. That is, that is a new thing for this set. Uh, hopefully we'll see that appear in more Lego sets throughout 2023. Honestly, when I look at the A-frame cabin, I just feel like I'm traveling, like I'm out in the great outdoors. Maybe that's the Blue Ridge Mountains, which is the closest thing to me. Or if I'm in Canada or Colorado or really anywhere in North America that has this type of aesthetic, I feel like I'm just traveling to that place. So if you, you know, you're a fan of that, I think you're gonna love putting this Lego set together. I think this is a great set, not just for Lego enthusiasts, but for fans who wanna get into Lego. You know, Maybe they bought those botanical uh, Lego flowers and they kinda wanna take that next step and get a real like Lego building with figures and everything. I really do think this is the perfect stepping stone Lego set for a mild Lego fan to become a more enthusiastic Lego fan and, and to really get a grasp of how cool the hobby can be. So at over 2000 pieces and that $180 price tag, do I recommend this set? Absolutely. I think it's very much worth it, especially given all the tree parts that you get here. I feel like all these um, earth tones of the browns and oranges look fantastic and can be used in really any mock if you do want to take the set apart. So I see tons of value in this Lego set. And because of that, I can absolutely recommend it to anybody who's interested. I myself will have this set on display somewhere in my house where I will be looking at it and feeling like I'm traveling. I haven't yet stayed in an A-frame cabin myself, but hopefully one day I will, and I will absolutely be thinking of this set when that day comes. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this review. Let me know what you guys think about coming outside to review a Lego set. I had a great time putting this together. Thanks again to Lego for sending this set over for a review. Don't forget to subscribe to see other crazy reviews like this one. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.